Six Americans are rescued from Iran in 1980. It's a true story, and now the real-life drama is a movie and a good one. Our embassy has been seized, and more than 60 American citizens continue to be held as hostages. If we're going to go, then we need to go now. Welcome to the best movie review show on the internet. I'm your host, Brett Martin, and thank you very much for watching. November 4, 1979, a large group of Iranians stormed the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, taking 52 American hostages. But six Americans did escape. The story about how those six made it out is the setup for the film Argo. We've got revolutionary guards going door to door. These people die. They died badly. White House? Who wants the six of them out? The six find refuge in the home of the Canadian ambassador, and that's when CIA operative Tony Mendez comes in. He's played by Ben Affleck, who also directs the film. And he cooks up a plan to fly in alone and fly out with the six, all of them posing as a film crew scouting locations for a faux Star Wars knockoff titled Argo. Funny man. What are we watching? I got an idea. They're a Canadian film crew for a science fiction movie. I fly into Tehran. We all fly out together as a film crew. I need you to help me make a fake movie. So you want to come to Hollywood and act like a big shot without actually doing anything? Yeah. It'll fit right in. It's a crazy scheme to get hostages out by fronting a fake movie, but it works. And at times it's very funny. There are some great supporting roles for Brian Cranston, the CIA boss, Alan Arkin, the fake movie producer, and John Goodman the special effects guy. All this and a great story leaves you with an engaging film crackling with energy and purpose. You really believe your little story is going to make a difference when there's a gun to our heads? I think my little story is the only thing between you and a gun to your head. This is no documentary, it's a major studio motion picture. And it's a heck of a good one at that. So the Flicometer gives Argo a 5 out of 5. A great film, great acting, great directing. This is Oscar worthy all the way. Tell me what you think. Head on over to my Facebook page, it's called The Brett Side, and uh, click like. I'm Brett Martin, thanks for watching this review. For Cinestars, you've been flicked up.